by Kerman's Log, Day 16. Well, it looks like I'm stranded on Mimbus for now, and I've got some serious decisions to make. I had finished scanning Mimbus quicker than I expected, and sent the information back to Freeport Station for my funds. After looking over the data, my employers offered me a bonus to not go to or tell anyone about a specific area they were interested in, and I took the bonus. It's not only for the funds, of course. I wanted to show that they could trust me with this sort of thing and call me up again if they needed something else to scan. Well, anyway, I picked a different Orridge spot to land at and refuel. I had figured out how to read the scan results. And so I began my landing procedures, getting into a tighter orbit and then adjusting my inclination so I'd hit the target. This was my first time landing on Minmus, though, so even though everyone says it's easy, I wasn't totally confident. The rapier is relit without any problems, so I brought down one end and then the other end of my orbit. The landing itself has to be done with the Rockmax 2477 Twitch engines, though, and that's where everything went wrong. I'll put all the details in this log so that it'll be on the record for later on, just in case somebody disputes something. The initial power descent wasn't too bad, and because I was a little bit worried about whether I'd remembered to lower the landing gear later, I put it down right away. So, no problems there. As I neared the target spot, I used the uh, rapiers to kill my horizontal velocity. I kept it very careful, I didn't want to overdo things. And so, it was a fairly nice flat spot that I had chosen and everything was going pretty well. With a final correction to my horizontal velocity, I shut down the rapier engines and activated the twitch engines. There are two on the tail and then four up front. Total of six little twitch engines there. And then I controlled from the docking port on top of the vessel. And so you see here, oriented directly up, trying to use mech jab in order to keep me at the retrograde marker. The problem was clearly a manufactured defect. The action group to activate the twitch engines only activated five out of the six. One of the forward right engines did not activate, but I didn't know that at the time. I was just sitting merrily in the cockpit, and all I knew was I had a little bit of a roll going on. And that could be from a number of things. It could be that the engines weren't placed right, I might have a center of mass issue, which shouldn't be the case. The, the guy who sold me the thing told me that it was perfectly balanced, but of course you can't trust him. So I was using a lot of RCS to try and correct it and make up for the fact that I didn't have that one engine. I only found that out later, after reviewing all the data. But in any case, it seemed like it was controllable, so I wasn't too worried, and I was ascending pretty well. But the thing is, the problem got worse and worse as I went down, and as I tried to make my final descent burn, which obviously is a heavy burn to do because you want to do it as close to landing as possible so you don't waste fuel, well, everything went wrong. Um, the whole vehicle was thrown this way and that, and I had a lot of trouble controlling it. I wasn't controlling from the docking port anymore either. It was a little bit of a glitch in mech jet. And so, well, uh, here's here's the video from the from the cockpit and you can see what happens for yourself I was thrown Mimus doesn't have much of a gravity it's really easy to bounce on it and bounces what I did I bounced a lot I'll give the manufacturers credit it was pretty sturdy altogether but but that one problem with the ED stretch well, it certainly killed my triumphant arrival to Minmus. Oh, so I must be controlling a little bit weird because every time I hit the surface, I nose down. I don't know, maybe I should have tilted up a little bit more to uh, so that the main wheels hit the ground first. I tried to land flat. Might have been a mistake. Anyway... Lots of skidding and bouncing, but eventually I had it upright. And, uh, well, it was time to assess the damage. And we saw the explosion earlier. Basically, I lost the right wing and the twitch engines on that side. It wasn't too bad. 
Actually, I could probably get it fixed here on Minmus. I don't know, they might have to uh, ship the Twitch engines in, but the wing isn't too complicated. Plenty of wing parts lying around on Minmus here. But you can see the situation right there. It's not a pretty sight. After sending the message back to Kerbin about what happened, I didn't have much else to do except to start drilling. And then I found out there was another problem. They weren't exactly honest about how much freedom this gives me, because uh, drilling takes forever. I spent a whole day at it, and I didn't get much liquid fuel or oxidizer. I'm converting using the 1.25 meter converter, and I'm no engineer, but I can tell you that I will be an old Kerbal by the time this got refueled. I don't think the drilling speed with the little drill on the tail is very good either. So anyway, the manufacturer got back to me eventually and told me that I had a choice. Either I got a replacement for the ED stretch or I got sort of a more pod based vehicle. And I have to say that out here, now that I'm here, uh, maybe a pod would be more useful. I really don't need the wings and the efficiency would be nice. Maybe I'd carry more cargo. I like the look of the ED stretch though, but who knows what other problems there are and it doesn't look like it can do what I want it to do. They're not going to give me a better uh, ore converter or anything like that, nor a better drill. So anyway, but that's the choice I'm faced with right now. And I'll be hanging out here on Mimis for a little while longer. They've given me some time to make my choice. I'll see if I can get spare parts. Maybe I can build this up, sell it, maybe get a better deal or something. Anyway, so I'll close my log there.